Hey, what's up? This is Kaiser. You're listening to me on Super Trainer. And today I've got a pretty crazy guest. He's one of the most prolific people in the whole fitness industry. And he's probably best known for the Liebert Equalizer. So this is uh, the man behind the, uh, behind the machine. It's Mark Liebert. What's up, Mark? Hey, Kaiser. How you doing? Good, man. A lot of people uh, that, that talk about uh, info products and staying busy and producing in the fitness industry, but you're one of the guys that's really about it. And, um, Thanks, man. Yeah. I mean, that's obvious from the equalizer, and uh, you have a new thing out, the buddy system. So, um, how do you uh, manage to, to stay so busy? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, it's, it's a bit of a balancing act, as you know. And, and a few years ago, I made a conscious decision to um, stop doing a few things and giving up a few good things for some great things. And um, not an easy decision because. You know, I gave up competing in Taekwondo, and I gave up uh, training a lot of clients that I really enjoyed, you know, hanging out with and training and, and, and having an income from it. But um, it takes a bit of, uh, I, you know, got to you know, tell you straight up, it takes a bit of, can I say balls? Yeah, 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 you can say balls. It, it takes some balls to stop uh, having an income and taking pretty much everything you own and putting it on the line and uh, just go out and do it. Um, fortunately for me, I, I've always been built that way, so it's not that big a deal. Um, but, you know, I, I, I talked with a trainer the other day, and he's a, a school teacher, and he stopped training or stopped teaching just to get in the training business. And he goes, you know, Mark, I've been, I haven't been able to, you know, have an income for six months. <laughs> and I was like, well, it's been seven years for me, but that's okay. And uh, we just set out a plan for him for six months down the road, you know, where, you know how many clients he's going to have what his income is going to be, you know, just set some goals and, and aim towards them. And, you know, it takes a bit of faith, but um, sorry, I'm rambling on there, guys. No, 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 it's, yeah. um, you're absolutely right. I mean, that's basically the whole focus of my blog, that uh, at a certain point you just have to make that decision that I'm going to break with um, what I was doing before uh, to, to move on to maybe something better that works for me. And, um, right. yeah, yeah, and it happens at any point in your career, not only for beginners but for a more advanced guy like you too, right? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I've been at uh, the personal training side of things for a long time, but, um, you know, the whole launching a new product was kind of new for me and uh, uh, quite a learning curve, and, and, and I've picked up a lot of, you know, I have a business partner who has a background in business, and uh, so I've learned a lot from him, and, uh, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have, you know, looking back, I, I would not have not done it. I just love it. I, I'm learning every day so much, meeting great people like yourself, I mean, what could be better? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to talk about the buddy system, but the first thing, um, like I said, the, the thing you're probably best known for is the equalizer. And um, yeah. just, just right off, just looking at it, it seems it's like a very intuitive piece of equipment, very basic and simple. Um, I've told you before, yeah. I, 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 you know, I, I wish I invented it. So how did the whole yeah. thing uh, how did the whole thing come about? And, um, yeah, I mean, it's just blown up to an amazing level. So, yeah, can you just talk about kind of the – the origin, the history of the the device, and and um, and yeah, um, sure. Yeah. Um, it's really quite simple. Um, I had a home client, and uh, she wanted to be able to do chin ups, and you know her body weight to strength ratio, you know, chin up bar in the door just wasn't going to cut it. Um, you know, for most people, it's kind of a it's a nice tool to have, um, but probably not a good starting point. So I thought, you know, instead of you know purchasing a big lap pull down machine for her, she had limited space. What can I do? So I just hooked up with a buddy on the weekend who, who can weld, and, and he got some steel, and we started bending and welding. And of course, I bought him a few beers after, <laughs> and uh, came up with some funky, unique designs. I had all kinds of different stuff, um, so I brought that and started testing it out with her. And you know, once we started being able to do some, you know, like the Swedish pull-ups or a, like a vertical row, I thought, geez, this will be great for dips, and this will be good for this and that and the other thing, and. And uh, that's kind of the genesis of it, anyways. Yeah, no, I mean, um, and the thing is just blown up. It's like a, like that whole uh, tipping point kind of thing that I, any time I turn the TV on, I see it. I saw Nate Robinson using it in a Knicks commercial. Oh, cool! Kim, yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, right? you saw that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously the Kim Kardashian show, they showed it for about ten seconds uh, in, a, in a still shot. There, did you have to pay for that? Uh, no, um, Kim Kardashian's trainer. Um, Kathy Kaler uh, loves the product, and she's promoted it on her on her website and stuff. And uh, and she actually 
actually let me know that it was going to be on, so it was kind of cool. Yeah, did you think this thing was going to blow up like this? I mean, it's almost become like a ubiquitous, like a, a must-have in any gym or training situation. I mean, a lot of the trainers I talk to who are in-home yeah. trainers, everyone has one. I mean, did you? is this what you had planned? Um, you know what, I always thought it would, and, and the only reason I kind of thought that it would is, um, you know, being a trainer with a strength training background, I like all the basic compound moves. I've always liked like, dips and push-ups and pull-ups, and I think, you know, most trainers understand the benefit of that, and they want to be able to have their clients do that. And so all we did was just make it a bit more portable. So yeah. it kind of works. Yeah, no, it, um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Now, the new thing you have, again, is also, um, I guess this is kind of um, kind of a, a trend with you, is another really intuitive piece of equipment, highly useful, uh, but it's um, uh, something you've added your own little twist to. It's the buddy system. Now, can you talk yeah. about that a little bit? Yeah, uh, the buddy system, again, yeah, it just came from the idea of working with um, gravity, working with a partner, um, simple as simple gets uh, in university. Uh, I was telling you earlier, I just kind of, you know, after chin-ups, me and my partner would get a towel and we just pull against each other. So the muscles working, you know, through a full range of motion. Um, I got to stabilize and use my core. Um, my cardio goes up. And, you know, the one thing I really noticed when we used to do towel work was there's no break. Concentrically and eccentrically, the muscles are always working. You know, I'm pulling against him and then I have to resist for him. Um, so it was one of the hardest things we used to do. I thought, well, I want to start doing more towel work, but I want to make it something that, um, you know, is going to last, uh, that is going to have more than just those functions. So that's when we came up with, like, a middle ring that it kind of just it smoothly glides through the ring. It's um, uh, a real simple design, and now we can do unilateral motion. So the idea is, you know, instead of pulling with both arms, I can go one arm, at a time, so I'm kind of adjusting the tension myself, I'm working against myself, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we started playing around with that design and then instantly found out that there's a million ways to use this, and uh, so yeah, we just kept, you know, the prototypes going until we came up with something that's bulletproof and strong and something that's going to last, and at the same time give us, you know, a ton of different exercise options. Yeah, no, um, it looks really good, not only from I guess um, from a trainee, trainee's perspective, or from for you know, I mean not only from the perspective of someone looking to work out themselves, but from a trainer's perspective, it looks like a really high, uh, highly valuable piece of equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were chatting earlier, I think you hit the nail right in the head. It, it gives the trainer uh, a real connection with their client because you know you're engaged in the workout. I'm not standing there counting reps. I'm actually holding on to the product while they're working. Um, and then the other part of it, you know, the communication um, starts to come up, and, and, and a lot of group training sessions are going on now. So now I can have two clients paired up together, working with each other, um, a coach with his athletes, those types of things. So I think really what we're trying to do here is um, change the way people are looking at fitness. This is something that we can get involved with together, um, mm -hmm. partners and tandem training. I, I really think that's where we're going with this product. Yeah, and, and um, yeah, just kind of on a side note, I totally agree with you on that, that this whole idea of getting fit on your own, uh, hanging out in your house with a Bowflex, and thinking you're going to get um, in ripped, tip-top shape, um, uh, you know, I, I don't know if any research, research has been done on that, but um, that just doesn't happen. You need to have some sort of social or, or I mean, some accountability. Yeah, 